Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to compare three different card holders from Chanel. So there is the flat card holder, which is the smallest one. And then I also want to compare it to the flap style card holder. And the last one is the zipped card holder that they offer. So I would say that these three are like the most common ones that Chanel offers. I know they do some other variations every so often, but I think these are the three that are the most popular from Chanel. So I'm going to be comparing all three of them, give you guys the pros and cons, what works best for certain situations. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So let's first talk about the flat card holder, which is the style that I've owned for the longest. So around six years ago, I had purchased one in lambskin and it was in kind of like, I want to call it like the classic style with the small CC at the front of the card holder. So that one I owned for maybe around four and a half to five years. And then I eventually sold that one when I purchased this one, which is also in lambskin, but it's in the Chanel 19 style with this large logo at the front that has the leather interwoven through it. So this one is 500 US dollars and I purchased this in around March or April of last year. And then more recently around like a few weeks to a month ago, I purchased this one, which is in caviar and it's also in the classic style. So this one is 425 US dollars. So there's a $75 difference between these two because this one comes with this much larger logo. So this card holder is very slim in its profile. It works for basically every bag except one that I own. And it has one slot in the front, there's two in the back, and then there's this compartment in the middle. So I tend to just put one card in these um, compartments in the front and the back but you can definitely fit at least two in each one of them and the middle easily fits five. So that's at least eight cards and maybe at least even 11 if you're okay with doubling up the cards in these slots. You might be able to fit three in the front and back compartments and honestly some people really stuff this card holder full. So if you're okay with doing that by all means you can definitely fit a lot more than I just stated. And as I mentioned since this is such a slim card holder it's great for mini bags you know the other two even though they're still card holders and they're still relatively small it does take up a lot more space in comparison so i'm actually going to show you what each of these card holders look like in like one of my mini size bags so this is the mini reissue that i have from chanel and the Chanel 19 version of this card holder is just a little bit bigger because of that logo, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. So this is what this card holder looks like in there. It's really not taking up much space at all. So that's what it looks like when it's kind of like horizontally placed inside the bag. And then if you were to place it vertically, you know, it doesn't quite fit it's a little bit taller than the bag but you actually can still close the bag up so that's what that looks like and yeah i really love this card holder the only con i can say about it is that you can't put coins inside so if you tend to carry coins for parking or something like that then this might not be the card holder for you now as i mentioned i did used to own another one of these card holders in lambskin and when I bought that one, I didn't really pay attention to the wear and tear. I did notice over time that you would get this like horizontal line forming on these card slots, kind of like based on where like your card would sit and push up against the leather on the card holder. And I kind of assumed that it happened over time and you know, it just got worse, but it didn't show up immediately but i started paying attention when i got this one and yeah it kind of does show up immediately depending on what card you're putting in these slots so i have this one credit card that tends to leave a line on these slots depending on where i put it it's kind of like the main culprit i tend to put it the most in this bottom slot at the back over here and yeah there is an imprint from that credit card because 
it is a little bit sharper like when i touch the credit card i can feel that the edges and the corners are just a little bit sharper so do keep in mind maybe if you have certain credit cards or whatever cards that are kind of like a little bit sharper just keep them in the center if you don't want to um, leave any imprints on the other card slots because the center you won't be able to tell if it leaves an imprint i haven't noticed that happening on the caviar one as expected the caviar is more durable so i haven't noticed any of those imprints on it i basically use them the same way i don't really do anything different between these two card holders so yeah of course not surprisingly the caviar one does seem to hold up better also aside from the chanel 19 style just taking up more space in my bags i find that this logo the leather on the logo doesn't wear that well because you know it is sticking up so when i first got this card holder taking it straight out of the dust bag i noticed that there was kind of like some marks on the leather that is kind of like interwoven through this logo because that really sticks out the most and i assumed that it was from the dust bag so i was able to remove i want to say like 98% of it or so so I was able to remove most of it but then as I've been using this card holder I noticed that that kind of develops again and I just I don't really want to spend the effort cleaning off my card holder every time so that's something that I do expect to get worse over time since this does cost an extra $75 for that logo I don't actually recommend you getting it in the light color now that I've experienced the wear and tear on this logo myself I mean the logo is still really pretty I like these exaggerated quilts on it but yeah, for an extra $75, definitely I would say to stay away from the light color. In the dark color, if you like the logo, if you think that warrants the extra $75, I think you should go for it. But yeah, I think if you want to go with the safer option, the caviar one is definitely the best bet. And next up is the zip card holder which I purchased in 2021 and this is 600 US dollars. Now as a bit of a spoiler, this was actually on my worst purchases of 2021 list so overall I am not a big fan of this card holder unfortunately. But yeah, let's talk about the pros first. So this does have um, one slot in the back and then on the inside you do have these three compartments. So this is good for organization and especially if you want to put coins in here, this is probably the best card holder of the three for something like that. And I also really like the smooth zipper on it. It's really easy to unzip and zip it back up so it's not like fussy to use when you're trying to get like to your cards really fast at like a grocery checkout line or something like that. However, there are kind of cons to every single one of these pros that I just mentioned. So this card holder is the narrowest one of the three that i'll be talking about in this video so the one that's like in the middle is the flat card holder that i just talked about this one is a little bit smaller width wise compared to the flat card holder and because it is a little bit narrower as well as this whole zipped business and these compartments with this kind of like accordion detail here it makes it so that these compartments are just overall smaller so it becomes kind of hard to take cards out especially if you put it in like the frontmost compartment and the backmost one it kind of gets caught in this zipper piece that goes around and yeah it's kind of hard to take cards out so I do tend to just put all of my cards especially the ones that i need to reach for the most often i put them in the center so kind of defeats the purpose of having these three compartments for organization i mean if you put like 
coins in this back compartment here, then it's not really an issue. It's much easier to get coins out of this compared to like a credit card, which is basically the entire width of these slots. So that's one of the cons about it. But honestly, I think if they just made this a little bit wider, that would completely fix that issue. The other issue is that I just, I kind of wish that this tab this zipper pull was made out of metal instead of this leather. I mean, this one is in lambskin, so of course, most delicate of the bunch. But even if this was made in caviar, I think I would still prefer it to be in metal. It's just that this feels delicate, you know? I think that this will show wear over time, especially since when you put it in the bag. Actually, I need to show you guys how it looks placed in the bag anyways. So this one, it takes up a good chunk of space. Like I mentioned, even though it is a small overall type of wallet, it's still significantly bigger than the flat one. So this is what it looks like when it's laid horizontally. So as you can see, it takes up a chunk of space in this mini size bag. And this is what it looks like vertically. And yes, for all three of these card holders, the flap does still close even if you place it like this. So as you can see, this tab on the zipper is just kind of going all over the place. And especially since I do tend to lay my card holders down horizontally like this, that zipper tab is right at the bottom. And there are other things in my bag that are sitting on top of it. So every time I pull out this card holder, I feel like that tab is getting dragged along and just getting scratched up against whatever it is that's sitting next to it. And yeah, over time, I can imagine that there will be wear and tear on that. And that's not to say that if this had the um, metal tab instead that it wouldn't show wear and tear, but I just, I mind scratches on metal a lot less than I mind scratches on leather. So I just kind of wish that this was, you know, like a metal piece instead, maybe have it say Chanel on it or have like that CC logo just to spice it up a little bit. I do have um, like a full size wallet that is also like a zipped wallet and that one has a metal tab. And yes, that one has a bunch of scratches on it. But yeah, as I mentioned, I really don't mind scratches on metal all that much. And the last thing I want to mention is I somehow got the stain on like this cloth material right by the zipper. I know exactly the day that this happened and I checked all over the inside of my bag. I don't understand what could have caused that type of stain on here. I mean, there was nothing that was even like remotely yellow in my bag. And then I thought about it some more and that kind of like yellow stain, it's not, it's really minor, honestly. Like you can't really notice it unless you're up close, but that stain kind of follows um, the movement of this, zipper pull against like the track of the zipper. So I feel like there's something about the metal on this zipper that is leaving a bit of a yellow stain. So that's kind of unfortunate. That <laughs> kind of upsets me a little bit. So keep that in mind. Maybe this might be like a little bit of a defect somehow. Again, if you get it in a dark color, it's not really going to matter. You're not going to see it, but yeah, because this is a light blue color, I do notice that. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this card holder, but there are some aspects to it that are better than the other options. Specifically, if you want to be able to put coins in this and have it be separated from all your other stuff. And lastly, we have the flap style card holder, which is the most recent one of the three styles that I purchased. So this one is 550 US dollars. And when I was initially looking to purchase a bigger card holder than the flat one, I initially went for the zip style because I thought I would like that one better. But when it didn't work out for me, I decided to go for this one instead. So this has this one compartment in the back as well as this snap button closure. And then when you open it, 
there is this one compartment here as well as this smaller one in the front here so this fits basically exactly the same amount as the zip card holder but you know just the features of it are slightly different and this one is the widest of the three card holders so this one as i mentioned is the most narrow and then in the middle we have the flat one so because this one is wider and because it only has this single compartment here as opposed to the three this is actually much easier to put things in and take things out of course if you put coins in there and if you put like credit cards in here too then it becomes a hassle because they're kind of like fighting against each other so you don't have that same organization but you do still have this one slot in the front and one in the back so you can put multiple cards in each if you wanted to now of these three card holders aside from this one being the widest it's also kind of like the thickest it's a little bit thicker than the zip card holder mainly because it does have this flap here and how it looks in the bag let me show you guys so you can also fit this both placed in here horizontally as well as vertically so this is what it looks like horizontally as with the zip card holder it takes up a good chunk of space in here you can also put this vertically and you will be able to close the bag but depending on where you put it like if you put it directly to the side either sides then it kind of pushes up against the grommets and the chain that's right up here so keep that in mind i wouldn't really recommend that because especially with this reissue style since you can slide that chain around yeah i feel like it would just put wear and tear onto the leather so i wouldn't necessarily recommend it and yeah i tend to just always place my card holders horizontally like this anyways now i know a lot of people really like this card holder because it follows that classic flap design and i really liked it too but the reason that i was hesitant on getting this card holder was because you know this does have that snap button closure and i was afraid that every time i was going to snap this close i would put pressure onto the quilt and i didn't want them to deflate because that would just look really sad right and I did used to own the YSO um, monogram wallet on a chain, which had a similar type of mechanism. You know, it had the flap and then it had the snap button closure. So I knew the amount of pressure that I had to put on the bag to close it. And even though that one was kind of like in um, YSL's version of Chanel's Caviar, it basically is the same finish. And even though I didn't notice any deflating on the quilts on that bag or anything, you know, I was just kind of a little bit wary and I didn't want to get a second thing with a similar type of mechanism and whatnot. So yeah, that's why I was hesitant to buy this. But as I mentioned, the zipped one didn't work out. So I decided to go for this one. And I'm actually really glad that I did because yeah, I really do love this card holder a lot more than the zip style. So the first one of this flap style card holder that I was really, really close to buying was actually the lambskin version in the Soul Black hardware. So I actually decided against buying that basically at the last minute because it was an extra $50 for the Soul Black hardware and you really get like no hardware on this card holder whatsoever. It's just a tiny CC logo. So I was like, why am I paying $50 for this little bit of hardware? And yeah, I decided not to get that. And even though I typically really love lambskin, much more than caviar i'm so glad that i decided to go for this one in caviar instead it wasn't because i decided to stay away from lambskin completely it's just because i wanted this color and they only offered it in caviar but honestly i'm glad that it worked out this way because when i close this button i tend to sometimes miss the other end of the button whatever the technical term for it is i tend to miss it sometimes and then it would just kind of like slide and push against the leather right around it and since this is caviar 
it doesn't leave any dents or anything around the leather. The first couple times that I missed the button closure, I checked right away just to make sure I didn't do any lasting damage and yeah it's always looked perfectly fine but I know for certain that would not be the case on the lambskin it would definitely leave indents there and I know that because on the classic flaps the inner flap actually does have a snap button closure and I never snap that closed and when I'm storing that bag it doesn't line up properly with the other end of the button so it's always pressing against the leather somewhere or another and yeah that has left a mark you know i don't really mind it because i don't see it it's on the inside of the bag but it's just something to keep in mind that it will leave indents on it so i'm so glad that i got this in caviar i think i still would have enjoyed it if i got it in lambskin but as expected the caviar one is definitely more durable and yeah i know i haven't owned this for that long i just got this in the beginning of january but i don't think it takes that long to form an opinion on what you think of an slg and i've been really loving this i'm so glad that i finally got it i do wish that i had skipped the zip card holder altogether and went straight for this but yeah i'm so glad that i finally bought this and another thing is I was afraid of using the lambskin zip card holder because I didn't really like using it in my really mini size bags because like I mentioned it takes up so much space so I wanted to use this type of card holder for like my slightly bigger bags but it turned out that it didn't really work well together because the bags that I have that are slightly bigger is lined in suede and usually like a darker suede. So I wasn't comfortable using a lambskin like colored SLG in like a suede interior bag. This one, even though it still is a lighter color, it's probably not advised to use this with a suede interior bag anyways, but I feel a little bit braver when I use this inside those bags so that's another one of the reasons that I ended up using this and enjoying it a lot more than my zip card holder so yeah definitely really like this one but I will have to say that my favorite is probably still the flat style so that is it for this video comparing three styles of card holders from Chanel and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys, especially if you're trying to figure out which of these three you should purchase. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below which of these styles is your favorite or in general, even if it's not from Chanel, which is your favorite type of card holder or wallet or even like SOG in general. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.